Hey folks, Jim Thomas here, fitness management and consulting, and I appreciate you being here at the channel today. And if you've not yet done so, please you know hit that subscribe button. We appreciate it. And if you find this information beneficial, you know hit that like button below. You know helps us out, helps us grow our audience and reach more folks that need help in the fitness industry. And then also check out the links below uh, for additional ways and additional information on how you can grow your business. Now our topic today is forget your job title. Everyone in your gym is in sales. Forget your job title. Everyone in your gym is in sales. Let's talk about this. Okay. Number one, realize no matter what your job title is, you already know how to sell. You already know how to do it. You know, we do it every single day. And one of the problems with the idea of selling, I know when I get into training classes, a lot of times, you know, I will ask people, hey, define sales for me. And most folks that maybe aren't comfortable with it, you know, they give you the most negative version of what it is. But the truth is we sell constantly, whether it be on what movie to go see, on what, uh, what restaurant to go eat at, or what event we're going to attend, what we're going to do this weekend. Hey, we're always convincing. We're always selling. You always know how to do it. Okay. It's a matter of really your belief, right? You know, your belief, your conviction in what you're doing. So first of all, recognize you already know how to do this. Number two, not only do you know how to sell, but as I've mentioned here, you are already doing it every single day. You know, whether you're trying to, to schedule a, a workout with someone and you want your workout partner to attend and you want you to come this time, don't come that time. Or, hey, here's where we're going to go afterwards. Here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to wear. You know, we're selling constantly. You already do it. It's already part of what we do. Okay. And in some ways, we... We just have to take the word sales out of it. You know, a little a sidebar on this. We have a group that we work with. They do extremely well. And part of what we have done with them that worked for their group is we took sales out of our vocabulary and we simply call it the process. And it's made it very easy for these folks to kind of digest a little bit and they don't look at it kind of in that, that, negative, uh, that negative approach a little bit. So, you know, think about that, you know, taking the word sales out and maybe calling it a process. Uh, number three, you know, you want to think of selling as a way to help people. And that's really what it's meant to be. You know, if you think about the true definition of selling, Really what it is, it's solving problems for people and it's providing solutions. And if we stay focused on that, this can become a very simple and easy process. You know, too often when, when it becomes about, hey, here's all the equipment, here's the great price, it's a little different animal right there. But think of selling as we're simply helping people. We're trying to solve problems. We're trying to provide solutions for them. This will make a gigantic difference. And the more we start to do that, the more we kind of get sold ourselves a little bit. You know, it becomes a true transfer of our belief, our conviction, our enthusiasm, you know, for what we represent. It's one of the reasons you're able to, in a manner of speaking, sell other things and not really realize it. Okay. Number four, realize this. You could become a superstar in your gym. If you bring in business, you can become a superstar in your gym if you bring in business. And sales does not even have to be in your job title. You know, I know I've, I've given this example before, but this was um, uh, someone that we had. She was teaching group exercise for us at a gym and it was part time role for her. And she was one of our top sales producers. And she was so good at, at communicating with members. She was so good at making them really feel good about themselves and feeling good about coming in and, and getting out guest passes. I mean, she was signing up more members than many of our full-time people just because she was so good at this. And at no level did she consider herself a salesperson. And quite frankly, she wasn't even, I don't even know that she was necessarily asking to buy. She was just leading them down that path, you know, leading them down that process. So regardless of your job description, everybody is in sales. And the more you can start to think about this, about solving problems for folks, and the more you can start providing solutions for them, the easier this can become. And you can start, A, making more money, and maybe you can become that superstar in your gym. 
Folks, my name is Jim Thomas. My company is Fitness Management Consulting. Uh, if you enjoy the content that we provide, you know, hit that like button below. We appreciate it. Hope you all have a great day. Look forward to talking with you real soon.